Hi, I'm Chris and in this chemistry video we're going to take a look at the difference between mass number and atomic mass. So conceptually, we're talking about the mass of atoms when we're dealing with both of these. And the way that we calculate it's a little bit different, so it's really important to understand this subtle difference. So your mass number is equal to the number of protons plus the number of neutrons that you have in one particular atom. And any individual atom, even different atoms of the same element, can have a different mass number. We call those isotopes. Any atoms of the same element that have different numbers of neutrons are referred to as isotopes. And if they have different numbers of neutrons, then that means that they're going to have different mass numbers. So an example of a calculation of that, if you have an atom that has eight protons and nine neutrons, to find the mass number, we simply add them up. That mass number would equal 17 for that particular atom. For atomic mass, what changes in your calculation is that it's not just one individual atom that you're looking at of a particular element, but you're looking at the average of all the naturally occurring isotopes. And based on the percentages in which they occur for a particular type of element, then your atomic mass is calculated as the average of all of those masses and the percentage values get taken into account when calculating that average. So for example here, let's say we had an element with um, a mass number of 40, 41, and 42 in different occurrences or because of different isotopes. This could be something, for example, like calcium, which has an atomic mass close to 40. And so maybe you have calcium that has 20 protons and 20 neutrons. And then maybe you have a different atom of calcium that has 20 protons and 21 neutrons. That would be an isotope. Maybe that isotope occurs 10% of the time. And then maybe you have another isotope with 20 protons and 22 neutrons, giving it a mass number of 42 that also occurs 10% of the time. So because these all have an atomic number of 20, meaning they all have 20 protons, these would all be different forms of calcium. And then if we wanted to calculate what the atomic mass is based on this data, we would take into account those percentage values. And when calculating with percentages, we simply convert to decimals. And we're just going to add them all up. So we have 0.80 times 40, 0.10 times 41, and 0.10 times 42. And when doing the math on that, 0.8 times 40 comes out to be 32. 0.10 times 41, 10% just means you're moving the decimal over one place. That would be 4.1. And 0.10 times 42 would be 4.2. And together, when we add that all the way up, 32 plus 4.1 plus 4.2 gives us 40.3. So this is how we would calculate the atomic mass for this particular element based on these percentage occurrences of these different atoms with these varying mass numbers. Mass number, we can see, is a much easier calculation than atomic mass. For mass number, you're just adding up the protons and the neutrons in the nucleus of one particular atom. For atomic mass, you're calculating the average of all the naturally occurring isotopes of a particular element. For more, please feel free to visit our website at sandersontestprep.com, and you can watch more of our chemistry-related videos at STPTV. Thanks for watching.